This is Billy Ruth Hopkins Futurici on KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial, right here in beautiful downtown Brookings, where almost every day is a beautiful day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. Well, you may remember that this is a work of pure, unadulterated allegorical fiction, or what J.R.R. Tolkien liked to call feigned history. So, sit back, relax, suspend all disbelief, and let's continue with our tale. your orb on Kalita, your intergalactic transportation device. Muchas gracias, but many thanks, but how must I use it? Breathe deeply, Angelita. Think positive, affirmative thoughts and trust the process. Your orb will transport you instantaneously back to Shavano in Crestone, Colorado. And here, my dearest Angelita, take left wing mine. You need more than I. Koreba su marinai mono pesinga dozo. Yeah, that's no insignificant gift, Tsubasa. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Oh, Mochiron, of course, Mochiron. I too must trust process. Well, dear listeners, now that Angelita has both wings and her PCRTT orb, she flies to the top of Mount Regeneration, followed by Aetherius and Subasa, Angela, Zirko, and Aetherius. Angelita cradles the orb making certain that her thumbs and fingers encircle it. Oh, I can feel it activating. It's vibrating in my hands. Yes, there, look, I can see it's glowing. Yes, it's changing functions from recording mode to transportation mode. Loving thoughts will send you to the exact location where you choose. But remember to keep your thinking positive for any negative or harmful thoughts will send you straight to a black hole. Oh, so this, so this, yes it is. Your PCRTD orb is glowing just as you yourself are glowing, Angelita. Now, how can I let you go? How can I ever let you go? Well, you know, Tsubasa, the highest form of love is to release your beloved so they may reach their own highest good. I hope you realize that. Oh, Chavano is my soulmate, Tsubasa, but I will always remember you and your great sacrifice for me, and you will remain in my heart forever. Oh, wait, my orb is softening. I must think clearly now. I must think very clearly now. Back to Mount Shavano. Now, just my fingertips are merging with the glassy surface. Oh, thank you, orb. Let's go. Vamonos. Earth friends, dear friends on Aetherius, farewell. Now, let us all take good care of our spectacular Jonavers. Now, as the red threads of gravity and love wrap them securely, they are swept into outer space and jettisoned into the nearest wormhole. They ascend through the crystalline caves of Mount Shavano and finally emerge through the frozen fountain on Sand Lake. 
we see a thurgis, Angela and Zirko, dragging themselves up onto the bank of Sand Lake. Zirko shakes and splays out on his stomach. Ah, groaning, Angela falls onto her back, ah, exhausted. <gasps> they are alive. Oh, look, there's Angelita at the top of Mount Shavano. Yeah, muy bien, muy bien. Ah. No, that's not muy bien, Athurgis. She has to do one more thing. Oh, gosh, I hope she's thinking straight. Yeah, my stars, Angela. When you're right, you're right. Ooh, now look, she's pulling Shavano from the crystalline caves up into her arms. Oh, look, they're flying away. Yeah, such wonderful lovers. Yes, I knew she would remember. She's taking Shavano to their old apple tree. Oh, meow, perfecto. Look at them kissing in front of that carved heart they made centuries ago. Oh, I'm so glad they remembered. Meow. Oh, look, now they're flying back to Mount Shavano where they will remain forever as the angels of Shavano. Oh, with surges of the three praise mountain, of the three phase fountain, show us thy way. The way of the Thurgis. Yeah, por supuesto, I am the way, you know. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, my goodness, here, Thurgis, here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on in for breakfast now. Where in tarnation does that cat get to every night? And one of these nights, I'll just have to go see for myself and follow them as far as I can. Well, Thurgis, I think we've finally done it. Well, see, Angela, to limo sexito. Oh, it surges. Have we saved Earth from that solar tsunami? Yeah, apparently so, at least for now. Will people keep seeing spaceships here in Crestone, do you think? Yeah, most likely. Hmm, just think, last night we were all riding on Aetherius's back and... Oh, oh, so, uh, how, how, how many times will we ha ha have to do this, Angela? Meow, Zirko. As many times as it takes. It's a process. Trust the process. Right, Thurgis. Trust the process. I feel like I finally understand the way it works. It's like practicing the piano like you do. Yeah, well, I can't wait to get back to that keyboard and finish writing my scroll. Hmm, I think I'll call it, oh, I'll call it the way of the surges. Meow. Oh, you guys, they're just, you're so funny. Well, that's exactly right. Ay, ay, ay. It is tan chistoso, the surges. Oh, chistoso. Hmm, now let's get home before Mom calls the cops. Brilliant, brilliant. Now, ladies, quiet on the set. Hmm, ethereal voices, are you ready? Now begin. Escuchen, escuchen. We are the oversoul of the universal machine. Que se abren los ojos nuevos. Pay attention. Time to be still. Time to listen. Time to become who you truly are. We can say, in el mundo nuevo, open your eyes, gaze upon the new world, get in touch with your inner self. It's the blueprint of the best you can be. Ahora es el tiempo de llegar a ser lo que eres. Be the change. Heal the world. Thought by thought. Pensamiento por pensamiento. Oh, brilliant. Okay, you three, come out down here. It's time. Mm, get a move on. Let's go. Hurry up there. Hurry up. Grandma Gaga and Wisteria wander on stage as if in a dream. They finally arrive down stage right in front of the camera. Jennifer helps them put on the three beige robes and places the hoods on top of their heads. Oh, Mrs. Dalloway, these three are ready to go, Mrs. Dalloway. Well, 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 
Oh, my poor butt, what is all this anyway? Well, they told me, he, honey, they, oh, they told me, dear, they told me I'd be shooting a cat food commercial, you know. That's what they told me, too, Mom. Did you hear those voices chanting in Spanish just now? Well, what voices, Mom? I, I didn't hear any voices. Grandma Gaga, did you hear any voices? Well, dear, you always hear them, you know, if you know what I mean. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I always hear them every, every time, every time. Oh, my poor butt. What are we supposed to be doing here anyway? We don't even have a script. Oh, Angela, you don't need one. You know what to do when the time comes, Angela. How many times do I have to tell you? Clean up that potty mouth language. Dear listeners, watch as Earth continues to be healed when soldiers from every planet crawl across frozen lakes, across the entire globe, across the universe. They reach the far edge of time itself. All weapons transform into wings as they fly away, one by one, forming a magnificent peace sign, becoming stars in deep space. At long last, Earth is completely healed. Oh, brilliant! That's about time. You get it right. Yes, let's try that again, the people. Hmm, now music up. Let's give it your best. Stanislavski method. And uh, action! Fling aside your weapons. Watch as they transform into your wings. Oh, Thurgis of the Three Praise Mountain, of the Three Phase Fountain, show us thy way. Multicolored silk streamers are lower. Sages intertwine, climb and swing and sway, as if dancing on the silk streamers. Finally, they are in the middle of the frozen fountain on Sand Lake. Oh, we better find our way home this time, or are we gonna freeze to death? Well, well, either we're freeze to death, or, or we're, we'll fall off that flying unicorn headed our way. Watch out, Ethurgis. What? Well, meow, grab my tail, Angela. Sometimes you just gotta fly, or, 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 die. Well, 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 wait, they're just, well, wait, now, I know how this goes. Yeah, we've done this before, let's just fly. They leap and fly across the icy water. Suddenly, a furious, the flying unicorn, swoops from out of the sky. The scene plays over and over in some eternal loop as Pop God raises the remote control to speak. Quiet. Quiet, quiet on the set. Settle down. Oh, okay, Tech. Dim the house lights. Well, well, well. Okay, folks. Let's try to get this thing right for a change. Well, yes, Pop. Yeah, let let's be quiet, people. Let's listen to your listen to your Pop. Hush up now. Now, Thor. Hey, Thor. Go make us some popcorn. Oh, the rushes, people. Let's watch man and woman make themselves in their own images. Oh, Lucifer. Hmm, please get the lighting thing straight this time. We can't expect humanity to live in red for eternity, now can we? Hey, Pop, that's the point. Don't you get it? Well now, well now, Lucifer, we all love a good paradox, Lucy, but but it's it's not your show this time. Live up to your name, dear. Oh, listen to your mother, Lucy. This time around, we're activating the aquamarine, transformative, illuminating, activating light. Hush now, everyone. I think I hear the overture play. Oh, but Pop, but Pop, I want to, I, but Pop, but Pop, I wanted oatmeal raisin this time. Well, Pop, why not just give it a try? Our littlest angel wants oatmeal raisin this time. Oh, very well, Mother. Oh, Mother, very well. Okay, you in the tech booth up there, scrap the rushes. Back to the beginning. 
let us create rather than let them create themselves in their own image. Just as very good oatmeal rice and cookies. Yes. Oh, all right, littlest angel. And a very good oatmeal raisin cookie you are, too. But I must insist on free will. Okay. All right, Mother Thondra. Take 144. Lights. Camera. Action. Rolling. Pan back slowly now, slowly now. There she is, people. Look at that beautiful aquamarine blue and green earth. So very perfect, too. And dear listeners, watch as the camera quickly zooms in on a slate-colored stone monolith somewhere near the Aegean Sea around 20,000 B.C. In the dusk, a dark blue sky a shiny new mothership hovers there, just feet over the surface, blowing sand into everyone's eyes. The characters look strangely like oatmeal raisin cookies. The mothership of Thondra suddenly appears at the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Entry ramp open. Ethergis skitters to the front of a very long line, struts into the module leading the way. A low echo from inside the ship can be heard. Hey, Pop, what about my idea, Pop? Macaroons? Remember white macaroons is what I specifically asked for. Oh, Thor, get a century. We can't always get what we ask for. Athandra, Etheria, Angelita, Zirko, Tsubasa, quickly now, up the ramp and into the module where Ethergis has been leading you. You know the drill. Meow, meow, Pop, what does she move? What does she move? You come in, me come in. Keep my show, keep my show. Pop God manifests a slow lap dissolve as the mothership Athandra moves through a starry Colorado sky. Captain Athandra pilots her ship and the crew through space as it weaves through proverbial red threads of love and gravity finally disappearing into black space. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Angela, Zirko, and Athergis emerge through the frozen fountain on the edge of an ice sheet dazed. They are ten years older. Oh, Zirko, Zirko, oh, you're alive, you're safe. Please don't tell me we have to do all this all over again. I just don't think I could stand it. Oh, wake up, wake up, Angela. You've been dreaming again. Time to get get ready for the reunion. It's tonight, you know, Uh, or did you forget? Reunion? Oh, right, Zirko, our 10-year reunion. How how could I forget? Oh, gosh, I... I don't wake up. Did you call Jennifer? Oh, did you call Jennifer? I gotta get her over here to do my hair. Oh, lead the way, Ethergis. I am the way, Angela. You should know that by now. Ethergis prances ahead, leading them back to Crestone. Angela, Jennifer, and Zirko head to their ten year high school reunion after which everyone gathers in the open field where they join Sierra and her mother sitting around the campfire. Sparks shooting toward the sky, becoming stars. They all play music and scan the sky for signs of alien ships. Oh, holy snail trail. Did you see that one? There it goes. Well, see what? See what, Sierra? Grandma Gaga, did you see anything? 
Well, honey, we are in Crestone after all. Get a, Get a century, century Angela. Angela. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, up there, just go, go ask Mom to bring those marshmallows and chocolate bars and graham crackers, too. We, we need to make s'mores. Ethurgis skitters back to Wisteria's house. She is reading the Master and Margarita. Hmm. Hey, the kids are out there. They want to make s'mores. Come on, Wisteria, get all the makings. Let's go. It's always been an enigma, you know. Well, come on, Wisteria. They're all out there waiting with those hippies and, and that Sierra's mother, remember? Well, they're looking for another alien ship. Oh, for heaven's sake. If third just get a century, there's nothing out there to see. Let's see. Let's let's go get the fixins for some ores and, and we'll go out there together. Wisteria and a third just go into the kitchen for some ores fixings. She stops short, clutches her chest, and, and then collapses. The third just stops short. Hair stands straight up on end. Meanwhile, back out of the campfire, they are all laughing and singing as sparks from the campfire rays into the night, as sparks from the campfire rise up to meet a full golden moon in the clear, dark, blue Colorado sky. Far out, man, look. What's that up there between Orion's belt and, and oh, yeah, I can see the Seven Sisters clearly as day. Look, just look at that. Oh, Circle, look at that. It's just like Etheria. Circle, it looks like Etheria. Do you see that? Oh, wow. I am always with you, dear. Your Grandma Gaga is so right. You have seen there's no such thing as time. Now I see clearly on a cloud of relativity. Well, uh, Mom, was that you? That was wonderful. It sounds like a beautiful poem. Yes, my dear, I'm just a breath away, like in the line of poetry from... Oh, yeah, Mom, I remember that poem. It's called The Garden, where he's meditating... Well, well, Angela, who are who are you talking to, Angela? Well, Mom and I are talking about that poem, The Garden. It's a poem by Andrew Marvell, the 17th century metaphysical poet, you know. Oh, brilliant. Yes, Angela. Dear, I, I remember that 17th century metaphysical poet, Andrew Marvell. Yes, your mother and I recited that line all the time. I understand it better now, Mrs. Dalloway. It's about the collective consciousness, isn't it? Oh, brilliant, Angela. Yes, as he meditates on the beauty of his garden. He says he is annihilating all that was made into a green thought in a green shade. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Dalloway, I remember studying that poem in your class. It's about how we can create our own personal world of true agape, love, peace, and harmony. And, and as we do that for ourselves, it also affects others. Oh, circle, like simple ripples in a pond. And speaking of ripple, circle, you've lost your stutter. You're speaking more clearly now. Way to go, Zirko. Well, that's true, Zirko. Good, you two have really grown up over the past 10 years. Yes, yes we, we have, have Grandma, Grandma Gaga. Gaga. We've been following the way of a third just too, the way of agape love, harmony, compassion, and peace. 17th century poets were pretty far ahead of their time, weren't they? Or maybe time is just relative, Angela. And gravity itself is love like the Aka Ethos. You got that right, Angela. It pulled us together, Angela. Just like Angelita and Shivano, nothing can hold love back. Gravity symbolizes agape love, an attraction, a streaming of our consciousness toward itself, toward each other, toward home. Oh, how very true, Zirko. You and Angela are realizing who you really are. Time works across all time. 
to heal fear and hate. You might even stop that solar tsunami from ever happening. Love is the only way. Well, yeah, like I always said, it's the way of the third just now. Now, now, just where in tarnation is that cat anyway? A thurgis? A thurgis? Kitty, 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 kitty. Go find Wisteria. Well, I was just talking with her, Grandma Gaga. She's singing. Listen. Listen. Oh, you're right, dear. It does sound kind of like an ethereal choir. Hmm, listen, Zirko. I am always in the I hear it now, too. Mom? You can always hear Mom? my song. Ma? Is that, was that you? Voice. I can see your future clearly. Day by day, by day, by day. As you build a world of love, not fear. Build a life of love, my dear. Of love and never fear. Tell our story based upon the way, the way you wrong. The way of a thurgis is the way of peace. Forgiveness, harmony, reality that's free, free of hate and bigotry, free of war and insanity. Keep love in your hearts and know that I am near. Farewell, my dear. Farewell, my dear. Mom? Mom? Pop God's camera zooms into deep space and hovers over planet Earth shifting in and out of focus as the entire history of the world flashes by, finally settling on a perfect aquamarine, blue and green world, finally fully at peace. But wait, we have breaking news. This just in, people. Oh, and it's gonna curl your hair. While I'm not sure what this might mean, we could be in for a new reality. A reality based not on hatred, bigotry, prejudice, war, and destruction. But a reality based on peace and love. Real agape love. Love like gravity. Like those proverbial akaitos, the red threads of love, holding us all together. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Let's all keep a good thought. It's a process. Trust the process. Here. This is Billy Ruth Hopkins for Ricci with KCIW 100.7 on your FM dial right here in beautiful downtown Brookings where every day is an awesome day and we can always choose to say yes. Life is indeed very, very good. Remember to catch us on podcast at kciw.org forward slash Angelita's Wings. That's A-N-G-E-L-I-T-A-S dash wings. <laughs>